Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist. Thank you for joining me in this video. Uh, what I want to do is go through how to correctly set up a vendor in QuickBooks Online, okay? So setting up a vendor is straightforward enough, and I'm sure you've seen plenty of, of uh, videos and other things out there showing you how to do this, but there's one crucial step that uh, at least what I see most people miss. A lot of our clients miss this, and it is pretty vital, in my opinion, uh, to make sure you do this on the front end, okay? All right, so the first thing that uh, we're gonna go do is set up a vendor, okay? So if we go to the expenses here, we go to the vendors, and we go to set up a new vendor, okay? So let's say that this is ABC Company, okay? Oh, I've got caps lock on there. Let me change that. ABC Company, display name ABC Company, print on the checks, okay? You know, we put in all of the basic information here. Okay, we'll say Atlanta and 30303, okay? Don't have any notes, and of course, you're gonna put in all of the terms. We'll say due on receipt. Uh, no account number, etc. Okay, so this is where most people trip up, so to speak. Okay, the business ID number. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is when you have to track 1099s. These are IRS forms 1099 that you have to send to vendors at the end of the year uh, for the, and there are certain rules and things that you have to follow. Um, and certain businesses get them and individuals get them and some don't, okay? So that's another topic. But the important thing is to make sure that you get this during the year, okay? So how do you do that? All right, and that's through a Form W-9, okay? So let me pull that up here. This is an IRS form. You can get this directly off the IRS website. And if you need to get a tax ID number from a vendor, this is the official way to do it, okay? So what do you do with this form? Well, first of all, you're going to just fill in this right here, requester's name and address, all right? So what we do and what we tell our clients to do is basically just fill this in and save it as a PDF and then send it to your vendor to fill out. They're gonna fill in their name, business name, type of entity, address, city, state, zip code, and then they're gonna fill in either their social security number, or if it's a business, their employer identification number. And then they have to sign and date it and send it back to you, okay? So when you get this information, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in the social security number or tax ID number. You're gonna click on track payments for 1099, and then you're gonna save it. All right, so why is this important to do? Well, what happens is at the end of the year, a lot of businesses go to prepare 1099s and they realize that they have not kept up with this. And if they get, you know, 20, 30, 40 new vendors during the year, now at the end of the year, they're chasing their tails, trying to track people down, um, trying to, you know, some businesses they may not be able to get in touch with, who knows? Uh, but it becomes an absolute nightmare at the end of the year when you're trying to track this information down, okay? So rule of thumb, anytime you get a new vendor, you send them a W-9 and you tell them we need this before uh, we can issue payment to you. That's what some businesses do. They will say, hey, we'll send you your payment as soon as you give us the 1099 or the W-9. And if they don't, we'll just hold payment until you send it. Now that might be extreme, but uh, a lot of people sometimes are hesitant to give this information for whatever reason. And uh, so sometimes you have to withhold payment to get the W-9 information. And the reason is, is because at the end of the year, if you are required to issue a 1099 to a vendor uh, and you don't, the burden is on you. If the IRS comes in and looks at it, they're gonna say, why didn't you issue a 1099? And if you say, well, I just couldn't get the information, well, the penalty is gonna be on you, not your vendor, all right? So that's why some businesses will just demand, so to speak, that they get the W-9 before they issue payment, okay? And then you're gonna, you know, any other information you have, you're gonna fill that out and you're gonna save it. And now when you go to prepare 1099s, you've got their information. It's as simple as that, 
All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you uh, want more information, head on over to QuickBooks University. Got a great training program over there along with uh, personal support. Answer your questions. I answer your questions. Uh, look forward to seeing you over there. That's qbuniversity.org.